Skittles, who knew? Certainly not our audience. And now we've got to keep on going, so filling Dan Blonsky's seat is our old friend from West Virginia, Doug Van Gundy from Marlington, West Virginia. Remember him? Okay, here is the next fastest finger question. Put these coastal cities in geographical order, starting at the Atlantic Ocean and going east. Barcelona, Naples, Nice, Athens. Hey everybody, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting at the Atlantic Ocean and going east. Barcelona, and then Nice, and then Naples, and finally, uh, Athens. That's the right order. Let's see who got it right in the fastest time. The winner, Tim yeah. Shields. Yeah. Timmy, let's go. Come on, we're going to play. All right, Tim from Staten Island, New York. Nice to have you You're back with us. Nice Only back. got a few seconds left, so we're going to get right. right into it, okay? All right. Shall we start? You know about the rules. You know about the lifeline. So let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Okay, Tim, for $100, if you ordered more food than you can eat, it is said your eyes are bigger than your what? Ears. Kitchen. Stomach. Waistband. C. Stomach. Stomach it is for $100. For $200. Which of these creatures clucks? Turtle? Hen? Falcon? Frank Perdue. <laughs> Be a hen. Yes, hen. 200. Whoa, just got that in. All right, you know what that sound means. It means we're out of time for tonight. But Tim will be back here tomorrow night, and joining him will be our remaining champions. And they are John Carpenter, Doug Van Gundy, David Rice, Michael Shutterly, Rob Cutler, Joe Roberts, Stephanie Girardi, Mike Mendes, Toby Moore, and Tom Ashton. To qualify to become a contestant, pick up a touchstone phone between the hours of 6 p.m. and 2 a.m. Eastern Time and call 1-800-433-8321. There's a limit of one call per person each contest day. And the phone lines close on Tuesday, May 30th at 2 a.m. Eastern Time. The special two-hour season finale of NYPD Blue is next on ABC, so don't go anywhere. And we'll see you back here tomorrow night, Wednesday at 8, 7 Central. From New York, everybody. Good night. Last time on the Champions of Millionaire. Mediterranean. Just won $16,000. Which actor has been on People Magazine's 50 most beautiful people in the world list six times. I was just on vacation. I saw my friend Beth, and uh, we were talking about this because the, the new issue was on the stands. Uh, but I have no idea. Uh, I'm, I'm going to ask the audience. They were right for 64000 Yeah. <laughs> Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, 16000 All right, my man, and I am going with you. Let's hit it. It's going to be B, the Tower of London. Let's make it final. Gil got it right for $32,000. Right for 64000 Yeah. Now join us from New York for the Champions of Millionaire. Hi, everybody. Good evening and welcome to Wednesday and the third night of our Millionaire Champions. Well, it's been an interesting series so far. Two of our million-dollar winners who got back in the hot seat have walked away with only $1,000 this time. That's three zeros less than the last time they were here. Just goes to show you that the right questions have to come up at the right time for the right contestant. And now we are here with Tim Shields from Staten Island, New York, who won $200 last night before time ran out. Hi, Tim. Hello. Nice to see you. Exactly. This time you're accompanied by two of your sisters. Yep. Adriana and Dorothy. Dorothy. Yeah, yeah, nice to see you ladies there. And these are only uh, 
two of the That's four that, yes. that you grew up with. Yes, if I keep playing and keep coming back, uh, they'll all be here eventually. Every time you make a little more money, your brother's <laughs> sister shows up. <laughs> right, yeah. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Now, if you have a good memory, you might be wondering why Tim is here since back in January, he missed on his $16,000 question. It was about work that Alexander Graham Bell did prior to inventing the telephone. Well, Tim gave the wrong answer, but it turned out that we didn't have the right answer either. So, to be fair, we brought him back, and here's what happened. Sheep, D. It's 125,000. You just won it! It's a sheep! Now you got $250,000! I'd like to phone a friend. Yeah, who, did you, who would you like to call? I would like to call Rachel. Positive? Uh, positive? Positive. Thank you, Rachel. Okay. So I'll go with B, Michelangelo. This is for a half million dollars, my friend. Want to make it your final answer? Final answer. She was right for us! <laughs> That was some night. Can you imagine this guy was done, finished at 16,000, comes back and wins a half a million dollars? And now you've won $200, uh, and you're 13 questions away from winning $1 million. And here's how we play, Tim. You know by now, the more questions you get right, the more money you win. Once you reach the 1,000 or the $32,000 level, you're guaranteed to leave here with at least that much money. You have all three of your lifelines to help. 50-50, ask the audience, and you can phone a friend. Now, to play along with Tim, log on to ABC.com, click on the Enhanced TV logo, and play against everybody at home using ABC's Enhanced TV. All right, Tim, shall we do it one more time? You ready to go? Let's Studio go. audience, are you ready? Let's go. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? For $300, Tim, here it is. Which of these abbreviations is used to indicate an alias? AKA, EKG, RSVP, ET. That's A, AKA. Yes, it's AKA for $300. $500. In which professional sport are players sent to the penalty box after breaking the rules? Hockey, baseball, golf, football. A, hockey. Hockey, the right answer for $500. Or a thousand. In a current Budweiser advertising campaign, how do friends greet each other? Hello, good sir. Yo! Hey, hey, hey! What's up? It's D, what's up? Right one, what's up, is the right answer. <laughs> Going for $2,000, 10 away from a million. Here it is. If a number is cubed, what is the, what is its exponent? Two, three, six, ten. That would be B, three. Final? Final. Three is the right answer for $2,000. $4,000. The Tennessee Valley Authority was created mainly to build which of the following public works? Appalachian Railroads, Rural Schools, Blue Ridge Highway, Hydroelectric Dams. That's D, Hydroelectric Dams. Final answer? Final answer. You're right, hydroelectric dams for 4,000. Can you believe it? You're only eight away from another million here. Going for $8,000. In the television series Taxi, what is the name of the cab company? Sunshine, Moonlight, De Palma, Skyline. I should have been watching more TV. I'd like to ask the audience. Why do we do that? Audience, Tim needs your help. In the TV series Taxi, what is the name of the cab company? 
on your keypads using A, B, C, or D, please vote now. Audience likes sunshine, 46% say sunshine, 24% say skyline, and moonlight and De Palma both got 15. Well, my guess was gonna be sunshine. Let's go with sunshine. Final? Final. The right one, Sunshine Hair Company. All right, he's won 8,000. We're going for 16. When we come back, don't go away now. <laughs> Tim Shields, Staten Island, New York, in the hot seat right now. Now, you all know that uh, our contestants are playing uh, for their favorite charities as well. They are splitting their winnings with their charity. And uh, your particular charity is the high school you attended here in Manhattan. That's correct. Regis High School. Yes, Regis High School. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went to Cardinal Hayes, <laughs> but uh, couldn't get into Regis, as a matter of fact. But uh, there's a fine academic tradition. It is. And uh, all on scholarship, isn't it? Yes. Every student uh, uh, receives a full scholarship. Uh, to attend for the four years. So it continues to function then on all the help it can get. That's correct. And that's where you're going to make your donation today. Absolutely. Very good. Now, you know, what, what is more important uh, in your development other than your parents than the schools you attended? Absolutely. I owe it a lot. Too many high schools are overlooked in this situation. Absolutely. All right. Good enough. So now, <laughs> Tim has a mother who has, still hasn't seen him on TV. No. Cannot bear to watch. That's correct. You. She didn't want to be in the audience. She, could, she doesn't want to watch on television. Right. As a matter of fact, she doesn't even watch the show because she can't stand the tension. <laughs> That's right. She gets, she, gets, she gets terrified, nervous for all the contestants. Are you sure it's not me? <laughs> you're pretty intimidating. All right. Tim, you're on your way. You've won 8,000. You've got two lifelines left. We're going for 16,000. We're seven away from a million. Let's play. $16,000. A short film made for the 2000 White House Correspondents' Dinner shows President Clinton doing what? Painting the house, signing a bill, watching laundry dry, lifting weights. Well, we may need uh, a lifeline here. Yeah. I would like to call Philip. Who's Philip? Uh, like my lifeline from last time, he was uh, a housemate of mine. From Graduate school. Did we call him last time? We called Rachel last time. Oh, okay. Philip was the other housemate. All right, AT&T, bring Philip to us. Hello? Philip? Yes? What's up? <laughs> oh, just having a little fun with Philip. Philip Regis Philbin here from ABC who wants to be a millionaire. Hey, Regis. Just having a little fun with you. That was one of the answers in the previous question. Here. <laughs> you know, but I'm here with Tim. We need some help. Okay. So he's going to read you the question, the four answers. One of them's the right answer, okay? All right, thanks. All right, Timmy, go at it. 30 seconds. A short film made for the 2000 White House Correspondents' Dinner shows President Clinton doing what? Painting the house, signing a bill, watching laundry dry, or lifting weights. Can you read those choices again for the White House dinner? Painting the house, signing a bill, watching laundry dry, or lifting weights. Gosh, that's a tough one, Tim. Um, I would have to, I have no guess for this. Told you to call Rachel. I should have called Rachel. 
you know, in this particular situation, Tim, you, you played the game almost, almost as much as I have. Yep. But would you like to go to 50-50 and then have a 50% chance at guessing it, continuing? 50-50. Why do we do that? Computer, take away two of the wrong answers for Tim, leaving one wrong answer and the correct one. See, if you didn't see this film, there's no way in the world. Yeah, it's it's a guess. Um, this is always a, uh, a big deal in Washington, but rarely do the public get a chance to see it. I feel bad for Regis, but um, the high school. Um, let's go with C, watching Laundry Dry. Final answer? Final answer. You got it for a... <laughs> <laughs> Thank God your mother's not watching. She couldn't take this. I can't. I can hardly take it. You know, there's no way in the world you would have known that if you hadn't seen it. But it was like a spoof on what the president is doing in his final days oh, in the White okay. House. And watching Laundry Dry got a big laugh. Got to make this one, Tim. Got to get there. $32,000. Okay. Six away from a million. But this is an important one. Right. Here it is. In the 1998 movie, Waking Ned Divine, what does Ned Divine win? Horse race, lottery, dance contest, polka game. He wins the lottery. Final answer? Final answer. You just won $32,000. In the hot seat right now, doing well, 132,000, but he's out of lifelines. None are left. We're five away from a million, going for 64,000 right now. I should add that in addition to his education at Regis High School here in New York City, he also went to the university, graduated University of Pennsylvania. That's correct. And then uh, got an MBA at Stanford University as well as now a management consultant. Uh, here and in Brazil, as I recall, right? I've traveled to Brazil quite a bit. Yeah. Are you you're still a bachelor from uh, the last time you were there? You yeah. go. But, <laughs> but as I recall, you still had boxes to unpack. Yeah. <laughs> Are they still unpacked? Yeah. What had happened was when I moved into my new place, I uh, didn't have drapes or curtains yet from for a window, and I stacked up boxes up against the window. I really liked the effect it had of darkening the room. Yeah. And, and I hadn't changed them, and it, it oh, was kind yeah. of bad. Yeah. You know, you think one of your four sisters might be moving into your hand. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess they're too busy. <laughs> All right, Timmy, here All we right. go, 64,000. You ready? Let's do it. Let's play. Come on. In 1543, whose radical theory of a sun-scented universe was first published? Johannes Kepler? Nicholas Copernicus? Or Ptolemy? Galileo? That was, that was Galileo. Sun-scented universe. Yeah, I think that was Galileo. D. Final? Final answer. It was Copernicus. Oh, I'm sorry. But all right, you get to split 32,000 with the old high school. Yep. And it was great seeing you again, Tim. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, thank you. Uh, Galileo was a student of the theories of Copernicus, but it was Copernicus himself who came up with the outrageous idea that the Earth revolved around the sun. Good luck to Tim, though. Good guy.